Hello, Pingree friends. For those who may not know me, I'm Finn, the school's resident border collie, a fixture of the Bear Paws, the school store, and a good-natured companion to snack-loving students. I also have real responsibility on this campus. I am really good at my job, so good in fact that I'm able to enjoy a fair amount of downtime. Recently, I've been perusing the ISO 31000. Those are the guidelines from the International Organization for Standardization on ERM, or Enterprise Risk Management, for those of you not up to speed. It's been a fascinating read. Why should you care about ERM? It's a framework that helps institutions manage risk, like wild coyotes roaming campus. Hey, just saying. Manage risk and you operate more effectively, in some cases, more safely. You want Pingree to operate effectively and safely, don't you? Why do I care about ERM? Because a significant risk to my well-being at this school had been hounding me, and I had a bone to pick. Due to what I thought was a tremendously short-sighted policy, Pingree did not permit dog bones on campus. Apparently, they were concerned that I might be aggressive in protecting my precious snack. Really? Bones are essential for proper oral hygiene among my species. I do respect the sheer number of priorities Pingree must contend with. However, I'm also a member of this cherished community, and ERM dictates that I have equal opportunity to have my identified risk considered. And so, I submitted it to the risk register at pingree.org slash risk, and the ERM working group did their thing. They evaluated the scope of the risk and the affected stakeholders. Pingree's bone policy was designed to prevent students from getting bitten, but my responsibilities affect every member of this community. They analyzed the risk and its consequences. I appreciate the concern, but I'm a good dog. I would never bite a student. And without bones, my dentist visits were increasing, my work absenteeism was skyrocketing, bear paw sales were slumping, my job performance was suffering, goose excrement on the athletics field was accumulating, general school morale was plummeting. Need I go on? The consequences were keenly felt by the entire Pingree community, I assure you. Pingree treated the risk. The ERM working group kindly followed up with me to let me know they had considered several treatment options. Ultimately, we all agreed that this would be the best one. I am permitted a single bone per day while on the job, which I may gnaw on during lunch, when most students are in the dining hall anyway, from the discreet location of my bear paws bed, under a sign notifying store patrons to keep their distance. Pingree documented and reported. I'm pleased to relay that I'm infinitely happier, healthier, and more productive thanks to ERM's risk treatment protocol and my daily bone allotment. Coaches and athletes are no longer tiptoeing around poop-filled fields. My colleagues on the facilities team are finding it far easier to mow. My dentist gives me high paws at every visit. And in case you were wondering, bear paw sales? They're as robust as ever. Do you have an issue you've been gnawing on? Something you feel Pingree could improve upon? If so, visit pingree.org slash report a risk.